rep rappers I'm back so my Z supports worked well enough they've kept everything in adjustment um, and I thought that I had considered a problem that you have when you restrain the bottom of the threaded rods if you constrain motion down here wobble um, and the rod is not perfectly straight, that wobble gets transferred into the carriage assembly and causes um, Z wobble. And I don't know if you can see this or not. Right along the edge over here, there's a little wart, a little bump. It was like a shift, not on this side only on this side a shift so even though that my Z restraints are not totally rigid they, they can move with the end of the rod they still constrain it just enough to cause a little bit of Z wobble effect so I, I had an idea I'm gonna redesign them a perhaps simpler maybe a little bit more involved in putting it together I'm going to produce the same effect as this up here. I'm going to hang from underneath here off the screws on the stepper motors a couple of brackets and I'm going to take the top part of this and stretch it out so I can put flanges on the side where I could screw mount cut it off about here so it'll be just big enough to contain the bearing and I'm going to hang it from these screws and have the bearing right here with a washer under the coupler as an interface to the bearing so the support will be right here that will take the load off of the top part of the coupler on the smooth uh, stepper motor shaft um, so I'll get the same effect of, of taking the load off of the, the uh, couplers and uh, eliminating creep but without constraint at the bottom of the rod so that uh, there won't be any Z wobble in the carriage. That's my plan. Uh, I'm going to start on the design tonight. I'll uh, throw up a couple of stills perhaps of the uh, parts um, in Blender and then the printed parts and then uh, I'll show you the finished uh, piece. All right. <clears throat> this is one of the finished upper Z support assemblies couple of notes on uh, assembly <clears throat> depending upon your Mendel um, this slot allows you to put the brackets in several places and make adjustments so that your threaded rod will be absolutely central to that bearing that's going to be stuck in that hole um, when you're putting it together before you tighten up the coupler you're going to want to make sure that the well, you're going to want to raise the carriage towards the top of your uh, build range and then you're going to want to make sure that the threaded rod is centered on the stepper motor shaft before you put the coupler in. A note on this, I mounted this, these uh, brackets at the corners and the reason being the uh, screws from the stepper motor are going to be at an angle about like so. And if I put them in the center, that would make this rotate like that and this corner over here would get in the way of the uh, stepper motor on the top of the carriage. Um, this is the left side. On the right side, these will be on opposite corners because I want to avoid this corner over here getting in the way of the extruder gear when the uh, carriage is over to the right. So by offsetting the mounts of the brackets when they're lined up with the stepper motor the uh, support down here will only be slightly rotated and it'll be more out of the way of the X carriage uh, stepper motor and extruder gear so you'll have uh, no loss of build height in that regard the stepper motor might still impact the bottom of this you might lose three or four millimeters maybe of build height I don't know I haven't I'll measure it after I get it in there but that's the assembled um, support 
One note, you'll want to put these screws in with the heads at the top. If you put the screws in with the bolts at the top, they'll get in the way of the edge of the coupler. It'll just nick them as it comes around. So screws on the top, screw heads on the top, nuts on the bottom. There we go. Next video, I will show them installed on the printer. Okay, getting ready to install the uh, upper couplers, or the upper uh, Z support, and remove the lower. I'm replacing these with these. And they will go up here. Let's see, screwed in with the stepper motor screws on a bearing that will support the uh, bottom of the uh, coupler. So that's the plan anyway. Um, a note about assembly. Obviously block something under your carriage since you're going to be removing all support. And I built my Prusa with these couplers and you can see these screws stick out on one side flush on the other. And uh, that would have required a bracket to come out much further and get in the way of this and limit the build height. So I did this. I uh, found some washer or some big nuts here as spacers. You could use washers, I suppose. And now you can see that the uh, screws stick out equally on either end, less on on this side, and uh, they should clear anywhere that the sides of the coupler clear. So. That should work. All right, I'm gonna start putting these on and uh, the next video will show the completed installation. I just had to pause here during my installation to show you why it's important to measure everything twice. I'm not gonna show you a mistake. That's the bracket installed with the bearing. See the bearing in there? And I threaded the rod up, bring it up close to the stepper motor shaft about a millimeter away, and look at that. <laughs> With that thing mounted in there, two screws going through to the stepper motor, that threaded rod is perfectly lined up with that stepper motor shaft. And the coupler will go right in here just perfect it clears the sides of the bracket I can get my finger through there so the screws are gonna fit just fine and it will ride on that bearing right there and that will take the load of the carriage and prevent creep or the uh, uh, coupler slowly slides down on the stepper motor shaft. So there it is. All right, I'm going to finish putting it together. I'll tell you what, it's really, really not fun getting those screws in up there. <laughs> but I think the end result's going to be uh, worthwhile. Okay, rep wrappers, here we are. My upper level Z supports. As you can see, the uh, coupler, which holds the threaded rod very well, is riding on a bearing held in place by that bracket on either side. And that takes all the way to the carriage off of the coupler on the stepper motor smooth shaft, which will eliminate creep. And it does not constrain the bottom end of the Z-Rod at all, which, as you know and I learned, can cause just a tiny bit of uh, Z-Wobble and distort your prints a little bit. So that's a better solution. I will upload the parts to Thingiverse, and these should fit on any Prusa Mendel right off the, right off the bat. It's a little tough getting the screws up into the stepper motors, but uh, I found that if you uh, don't install the bearing right away, that if you have the coupler off and you 
uh, crank your threaded rod down a ways so it's out of the way and then mount those two screws to the stepper motor up there. It's a little easier because you can get a screwdriver in there and then you can run the threaded rod up into the assembly a ways, put in the bearing and snap it in place and then reinstall the coupler. And uh, also I found that it was a, probably a good idea to, before you put the bearing in, um, position your stepper motor so that its shaft is centered on the threaded rod. Um, then you get nice smooth operation. So there you go. Eliminate creep on your Prusa Mendel and don't screw with the uh, Z-Wobble. <laughs>